Hello YouTube, all right, let's start the next project. We're gonna put some lights up in the roof space. I'll run through quickly what I, the outcome's gonna be, um, and then you can watch the video. This is the general layout. Um, because quite often when you're working in the roof space, you might have the power off to some or most of the circuits. Um, I'm gonna put a separate circuit breaker in just for the roof lights. So we're gonna have our 10 amp circuit breaker safety switch. It's going to feed our light switch, which is going to have an indicator um, just so we know if the roof lights are on. Then it's going to feed out of there into a series of 25 mil conduit that's going to run through the roof. So the idea is, is that power will come into here and then it will go in both directions. Um, and I'm just going to have some light battens through the narrow part of the roof. Then once it opens out into the main part, I'm going to put some 38 watt uh, fluoro lights up there as well. So just to give you a bit of perspective, um, this is the indoor switchboard. I'll probably just put the light switch above, the, above it here. It'll go up into the roof. And then if I come back out here, we'll run them through here, through into the house, um, mounting it onto the trusses. Love working in roots. Let's keep going. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in my last video, uh, bending springs, you get a different bending spring for every different type of conduit. So it's a different bending spring for 25mm grey as it is for 25mm orange. Uh, just because the internal diameter is slightly different, you'll wind up getting a bit of kink effect. If you use the right size spring for the right size conduit, it should bend nicely. Move you around.
happy days. Great news YouTube viewers, due to the success of my first video I've got a sponsor. It's Pepsi Max. Max taste, no sugar, super refreshing. Go out now and get Pepsi Max. Here we go, just an update. We're in the main section of the roof. Just got one batten light just put there. Um, conduit runs along the top here of that rail and then sort of cuts out at a funny angle. Just got a T-junction here and I've just put a socket on there just in case um, we're up in the roof and we're doing work and we do need power um, just for a light or a, I don't know, something. <laughs> probably not lights but um, something minor we can plug in there and that'll power up when the lights are switched on um, that tees off just goes to a 42 watt LED light and then off it goes down into the roof and I'm about to start crawling through there and just terminating those those sockets and battens all right I'll um, give you an update when that's done Sometimes it's easier to terminate the cable in before you put it in the fitting because you can just have it in a more comfortable position. So you can see I'm doing that now. So I'm not having to do it above my head once I get the light up. So I made a bit of a mistake when I ran the conduit. I forgot to put a T in here uh, because the light switch to turn the lights on and off is actually going down below here. So I just need to cut a T in here. Obviously we've already got the cable in there so I've got to be careful not to cut the cable that's in there. See how we go. Okay, we've had success. Okay, all we've got left to do now is put the switch in, indicator light, so we know if we've left the lights on. We're going to put this above the switchboard here, and our cable is just above here for us to drop down. So let's see what we can find. <coughs> Oop, get thirsty.
Uh, just a fiberglass rod. Stiff enough that you can push past the insulation, but flexible enough you can pull it out the wall. Okay, so here's our power. It's going to go up to the lights, goes from there, from here up into the switch and our indicator light, and then goes from there up into the roof. Now we just got to terminate this into a RCD and we're done. Hmm, let's see. Okay, I think that one's a wrap for this episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to run some catenary wires so we can redo all our network cabling. Um, our existing network cabling, it's actually run reasonably well. It's generally run along battens, but it um, seems I've got to relocate it all out into the garage anyway. I may as well run some catenary wires and just make it a little bit better. I'll give you a bit of a look where it all is at the moment you can see it's run along the floor so it's all sort of bundled together but my plan will be probably to run it um, further out towards the edge on a catenary and um, it'll just tidy it all up all right see you next time this is very thirsty work time for another drink <laughs>